Pisces, what's good? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do a reading for y'all and we're going to see what's going on, okay? We're going to tap in Pisces. Hold on, I'm trying to light my sage real quick. Okay. I don't know what it's right. Okay, Pisces. Um, Pisces, I just kept getting like love songs and shit. Um, I feel like somebody is like trying to profess their love, Pisces, for somebody. Um, Cause I heard uh, Mary J. Blige, I never want to live without you. And they was playing some song by Monica too. Um, some of you be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but the first card I got out, it says a time for healing balsamic moon. Um, so this card can indicate that it's time to let go of something or someone from the past, especially if you know it's it's something that is not good for you. Um, somebody or someone or something that it had like a toxic influence on your life. Um, but this card speaks to healing. Like it is a time for healing. So for some of you Pisces, you may feel like you're healed from something. But this card can indicate that you need more time to heal from something. So it's like this isn't the time to be like um, pretending like you're okay when you're not. Or trying to move forward with another situation knowing that you're not completely healed from the last situation. Like, that shit will backfire on you. So, Pisces, let's get into it. Okay. I was looking for which cards I'm going to use. Oh, shit. Ooh, it says download dirty little secret in reverse and trash in reverse. So, I don't know if a secret came out about somebody, especially involving a love affair or a third party or some shit. But it got trash in reverse. So maybe Pisces, you said you were done with somebody. And now like you're you're taking them back or they're taking you back. I don't know. Because I normally don't read these cards in reverse. But trash reverse is like, what? You getting something out of the trash? Like, what the fuck? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we got offer on the table, offer proposal or commitment. So somebody could be offering a proposal. Maybe somebody's getting married out here. Somebody wants to make a real offer. So I don't know if you want to be with somebody or somebody wants to be with you, Pisces. That's why I say I feel like somebody's like professing their love out here. Maybe this could be like a platonic friendship. Because this is like the two of cups. So, this could be like you and a friend. Yeah, it says confused this way or that way. So, I feel like somebody's like confused about a connection or confused about a friendship. It's like somebody doesn't know if they should go back, if they should stay, if they should leave, if they should wait. Yeah, cyberbullying says you are being bullied online or they are or has suffered from it. So some of you could be getting cyberbullied. So I don't know if this is public or if somebody just knows your business and they're just trying to shade you on social media. Yeah, it says groupie. So you could be dealing with a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like this could be somebody in a public eye. I don't know what they do. I don't know this person that you deal with, they could be in a public eye, but I feel like this person's like 
I don't know. I don't feel like this person can be trusted because, like I said, every time I get the sunglasses, that's somebody who's, like, not honest. They're not transparent. They don't 100% speak the truth. But it's like they could it display groupy behavior. Like, they like taking pictures with other bitches and shit. It's like they love attention, whoever this is. But I feel like this attention-seeking behavior could be, like, disrespectful to your boundaries. Yeah, it says fake accounts. It says fake social media accounts to spy Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. So, either you're making a fake account or somebody else is. So, like, watch you or spy on you. Yeah, queen rising. So there's a divine feminine out here stepping into power. Praise coming up and in the spotlight. Yeah, jackpot. Yeah, somebody's winning money. Got inheritance, unexpected money. Like somebody's on the come up jackpot. Somebody's on the top of the wheel of fortune. Having good luck. Blessings are coming in. Things are moving. A karmic lesson has been learned. Yeah, soulmate, similar friendship or romantic partner. It says racing, running, and avoiding. And wants you back. Yeah, so what I'm getting here, Pisces, is that, I don't know, this could be you or somebody else. Place yourself where you know you fit in these readings. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not for you. It's really just that simple. But what I'm getting here is that somebody out here is dating somebody somebody who's still in love with somebody else. Like real shit. Because it says racing, running, and avoiding. Somebody out here is avoiding somebody that wants them back. So, I don't know this is you or this is somebody else. You can be in this queen rising energy with this wheel of fortune, this jackpot. You learned your karma lesson. Things are taking off for you because it's somebody that you're racing, like avoiding, not trying to come in contact with who wants you back. Like real shit. But there's a divine feminine out here avoiding somebody that wants her back. It says, so yeah, somebody feels like this divine feminine is their soulmate. Like real shit. But I feel like this person is in a relationship though, or supposed to be, right? <laughs> but it's like they're in love with somebody else. But this divine feminine they're in love with doesn't want them. So it's just like they're just settling and just with somebody just to say they have somebody because they don't want to be alone so somebody's like pretending perfect like somebody's like pretending like they're in love with somebody because they don't want to be alone even though it's not the person that they really want to be with yikes okay yeah history yeah somebody's like tripping off the past it says talk it says Talk, conversation, get on the same page. Yeah, somebody wants to get on the same page with the ex. Somebody wants that ex back. They want that old thing back. Like, period. But I don't feel like whoever that they want back is like on the wheel of fortune. Their their life is taking a turn for the best. The wheel of fortune upright is winning, inheritance, becoming rich unexpectedly, or inheriting something. It could be like a new relationship or something. Yeah, and I feel like somebody's getting proof of evidence of that, that somebody's, like, moving the fuck on. And now somebody feels lonely. And they're stalking and watching and obsessing, making fake accounts or making a fake account to us to spy on the other party that they're being left for. Because somebody's out here like, well, if you don't want to be with me, you know, I know it's somebody else that you're interested in. So I feel like somebody's like making fake accounts to see what the other person is or to, or see who the other person is to size them up, to see what they look like, to compare themselves to that person, which is weird as fuck. But yeah, somebody wants their ex back. Just period. So I don't know which one of these people that you are. Um, hopefully you're this divine feminine. 
that's moving the fuck on with your life and not this other person who's sitting in a relationship with somebody who they're not even in love with. They just don't want to be alone. Yeah, because I feel like that's what I said. Like, when I first started to do your reading, then Mary J. Blige, I never want to live without you, babe. I want to be a lady. But I feel like it's just somebody, like, they don't want to be alone. So they're just telling somebody, yeah, babe, I love you. I want to be with you. You're my person or something. Oh. Let's see. Let's use this deck. Oh, let's see. What's the message for Pisces? Shit. This just definitely wanted to come out. Sudden wealth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so somebody could be winning the lottery, 11-11 on a timer. Somebody could be winning the lottery or coming into some money. Or this could be coming into like a twin flame union. Somebody finding their person with that 11 on there. Yeah, I feel like somebody's wearing a mask. Because you see how he's taking a picture with this girl. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, somebody's taking a picture with this girl. See how hard she's smiling. Like, oh, my God, I'm so happy with my man. But look at him. It's like, I, I, it's like something off about the picture. Like, he's taking a picture like he's, like, with a fan or a stranger. Or, you know, when really, like, this is your girlfriend or this is your wife. Like, why are you acting like you barely know this lady taking a picture? <laughs> it's like there's a feminine energy that looks like super happy with this person. But this person is wearing sunglasses. Like, he don't want to be seen with her ass for real. I feel like he's, like, pretending really well. <laughs> like, though, like, somebody should have been an actor. <laughs> like, real shit. Yeah, somebody was pretending like they were in love with somebody or wanting to be with somebody knowing that they want to be with somebody else but that person that they want to be with doesn't want them there's a divine feminine that doesn't want this person so they're with somebody else but it's giving like groupy behavior it's like a woman in a relationship with a man but it's just like this man doesn't treat her like she's a girlfriend or a wife like This is like, this is just, it's odd to me. The way this is sticking out to me, this is just odd. It's almost like she's trying to force him to take a picture with her. Like, hey, babe, let's take a picture real quick. And he like, yeah, let me put these sunglasses on first. It's like he barely wants to take a picture with her or doesn't really want to be in the picture or... They're, like, taking pictures together, but he, like, don't post them on social media or something. Like, something is weird, okay? Let's see. So, I don't know if this is a Libra doing this to you or what, or I don't know. Yeah, journey, yeah, something is over. Mm -hmm. It's like the person that somebody really wanted to be with is like gone. Something ended and now somebody's like forced to settle with somebody that they really don't want to be with. That's why I say it says a time for healing. It's like somebody's trying to move on because their ex moved on, but it's like they're not over it. They really need to give themselves time to heal. You can't just move on because you see the person that you want moving on with somebody else. Like... You can't force yourself to move on. If you're not over it, you're not over it. But that just means that you need to spend more time with yourself. That's why a time for healing came out here. Because somebody is trying to like rush their healing process. Or they're trying to be over somebody. Because the person that they really want has already oh, is already up, gone. You know what I'm saying? Like...
but that shit is gonna backfire on somebody you can't just play with somebody's emotions because you're still hurt you know what i'm saying like you can't do that or you can't just run back to an ex that you know you really don't want to be with because the person that you really want to be with doesn't want your ass like Somebody out here is like using somebody for emotional support or something. It's like because they want to feel that love, that nurturing, um, that care and shit. But it's just like they don't really like the person that they're getting it from. It's like they really want it from somebody else. But that person is gone, has left, has got into a new relationship. And it's like they, they can't get it from them anymore. So they got to get it from somewhere. But really, like, you're supposed to get love from the most high and for your, from yourself. Just getting into a relationship with anybody or just going back to somebody that you know you really don't want to be with because the person that you want to be with is like, I don't know, somebody is on some bullshit. How's it done here? Yeah, mature man. Yeah, it's like somebody has moved on to an emperor. This divine feminine or divine masculine has moved on to an empress or an emperor. Yeah, toil and labor. Yeah, they're putting in the work, the time, the energy, and effort with something else or someone else. Yeah, toil and labor with a child. Somebody could be working on a baby or trying to conceive. Like real shit. Yeah, or it's like somebody moved on and decided to put the work in elsewhere because somebody else out here is just too fucking childish. Child and despair. It's like somebody here is too fucking immature. So it's just like I might as well just move the fuck on and focus on myself. Toil and labor. And then the community is watching out here. So this could be any community, work community, Facebook community, uh, whoever the fuck. So, yeah, this could be, like, I don't know if you and this person were public or you were public with this relationship. like somebody's just settling or staying with somebody because they missed their chance with the person that they could really see themselves with which is fucked up yeah because i feel like I feel like it's a it's a karmic feminine energy, a woman out here who acts like a groupie over her man, which you're supposed to be your man or your woman's number one supporter. But this is like this is like embarrassing. This is like she's like grouped out for him, but he's not like that over her. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it's supposed to be reciprocal. It's like if I'm showing up for you, showing you off and praising you and all this type of shit, you should be doing the same for me. This is a woman doing this to a man, but the man doesn't even mention her or say anything about her for real or acknowledge her. Or it's like this is a woman who writes long ass paragraphs about her man and then the dude, he don't ever say anything. It's like, what in the fuck? What's the message here? Yeah, vampire, yeah. Somebody's like draining. Somebody's an energy vampire. And I feel like it's whoever this masculine energy is pretending that he's in love with somebody. Like real shit. I feel like he's very draining. I'm just trying to see why this car is sitting out here. I don't know. So somebody could be stalking you or riding past your house or something here. 
Yeah, somebody may be trying to figure out where they man be in or where they man be going at night time because literally that car just pulled up and just been sitting right there. But I don't know if they're doing like Uber or Lyft or something and they're waiting on somebody to come out of their house. Yeah, they're waiting on somebody to come out of their house. But anyway, yeah. Well, let's see. Pisces. Yeah, the trigger. Ooh, somebody's triggered and bothered. Somebody's annoyed, irritated, pissed off. It could be a feminine energy that's triggered and annoyed. Yeah, influencer. Yeah, I'm telling you. Here go that man with them sunglasses again. I tell I look, I can't make this shit up. Sunglasses here, sunglasses here. It's like somebody is supposed to be in a relationship, but I swear they be acting like they don't know this bitch. Like real shit. And it's pissing her off. So she could be an energy vampire. Whoever this karmic feminine is, she's an energy vampire. She's very draining or needy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's getting pissed off because this person's not giving her the time or the energy. He's not matching her energy or her effort. It's like he's more worried about social media and likes and subscribes and clout and all this weird ass shit. It's a bitch getting pissed off. It's just like, bro, like, why are you? It's like a bitch out here is begging her man to act right or treat her right or something. Yeah, the Oracle. Mm -hmm. So somebody knows that this is what's going on here. Or like I said, the Oracle card means that your intuition is right. I feel like this is this divine energy. I mean, divine feminine or divine masculine energy who knows this masculine energy is like that that's why she is trying to avoid this person she knows that he's like a cloud chaser or a groupie or he likes too much attention and validation like he crosses boundaries because it's just like we're supposed to be in a relationship why do you need so much attention for other people you know what i'm saying like yeah, so, like, yeah, there's a divine feminine just like, hell no, like, no. I'm saying that's not how I get down. I'm not faking no relationship. I'm not pretending to be happy. I'm not letting nobody disrespect my boundaries just to say that we're in a relationship. So, there's a divine feminine out here who's avoiding this person. This person may seem to think that this divine feminine is their soulmate. But whoever this is, they're not ready to fucking grow up. They're too busy trying to get validation and attention from the community in whichever community we're talking about could be social media or whoever the fuck yeah it's like a weird dynamic out here like it's literally a bitch getting pissed off or triggered because this man is like doing what the fuck he wants to do while he's in a relationship with her but she may be trying to make it seem like they're oh so happy together but yeah this shit is weird okay let's see and he could be acting like this because he wants this divine feminine back it's like he's really emotionally unavailable because he wants this divine feminine back but like she's gone okay but now his only option is a karmic that he really doesn't want to be with but she wants to be with him it's just like damn like yeah it's definitely gossip going on because i just seen that burger card yeah i told you it's a bitch that's crazy out here she wants to be with a man it's like she's begging for love she think because she got a nice body. I don't know. It's a bitch out here that believes that she can get any man that she wants. Or I don't know. A bitch is crazy out here. Like, real shit. Yeah, look, divine feminine. Period. It's like, it's a bitch out here, like, working overtime to get a man to, like, act the way she wants him to act or do what she wants him to do. She's like, she has to beg him to do all this shit take pictures, show up together, like, like, it's, it's really, really forced, basically. Let's see.
Mm -mm. But it's like, if she's not with this person, it's like she wants his attention really, really bad. It's like she wants this person to pay attention to her so she could be like doing the most and shit. And this person's like ignoring her, acting like he doesn't see her or something. Well, let's see, Pisces. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, Michael Jackson. So there could be a Virgo out here. It says entertainer, pretty young thing, beat it. My brothers can't sleep, child star, self-esteem, the goat artist, beat it. Yeah, so somebody's like talented out here. Or somebody's like an entertainer. They could be a singer, a dancer, a rapper. Or they come from a family of entertainers and shit. Yeah, it's like somebody's the goat out here. Like real shit. Somebody could be a Libra, Virgo, Cusper. Or a Virgo, Libra, Cusper. Cause we got Libra and Virgo out here, so somebody can be like a Virgo Libra cusper. So their birthday could be like around uh September 22nd, September 23rd, um, September 21st, September 20th, like somewhere in there. And they're like right on that line when Libra crosses into Virgo. Yeah, it says do the right thing. It says police brutality, aggression, business owner fight, racial tension, perception. It's like, so somebody wants to do the right thing out here. Yeah, it says my crazy life, me vida loca expect better so yeah somebody out here could be hispanic or mixed or biracial um it says sad girl handle yourself quiet as a mouse generational all i know pregnancy struggle organized crime so yeah there's a bitch out here that got pregnant on purpose or she's trying to it's like she comes from the struggle she has a lack mentality like girl code she hang out with these other karmic ass bitches and that's all she knows it's like she's been taught that you have to trap the man that you want bitch what no you don't trap anybody okay this shit will never turn out well you don't trap anybody at all you give people space to be free and do what they want and if their decisions doesn't resonate with what you want then you go mind your business you go keep manifesting and healing and working on yourself until you find somebody that's in alignment to what you want but you don't trick or trap or force anybody like it says, all I know, organized crime, quiet as a mouse. So this could be a bitch who just tries to pretend like she's quiet, but she be trying to plot on motherfuckers or get pregnant on purpose. Or it's just like she just, just a sad girl with her lack mentality. Give me another card. It's a generational curse in her family of women trapping men. Like, girl, you got to get your man. You got to do whatever. You got to make sure that da, da, da. I feel like this shit is backfiring on somebody. It's triggering somebody. It's pissing somebody off. It's blocking somebody from healing properly. Yeah, Breakfast Club. Is this athlete, criminal princess. What's a friend anyway? I feel like this bitch didn't lost friends over this type of behavior as well. Yeah, DMX. I told you, this is your ex, Pisces. <laughs> For some of you, your ex is a Sagittarius. Where it says spirit versus the flesh. Every time I get this card, this is somebody who's like struggling not to cheat. It's like they're trying to become a better person and shit. And they're trying to, I don't know. It's like they're not over this divine feminine. 
Like real shit. Whoever this Sagittarius is or whoever the fuck this person is, whoever your ex is, this Scorpio, this Libra, this Virgo Libra Cusper, like somebody is like not over this divine feminine. They're not over their ex. But it's like they're trying to it says spirit versus the flesh, year of the dog. Yeah, this is the person that has a history of cheating, they have a history of addiction. They said I'm slipping and I'm falling. So it's just like it's not easy for them. I feel like they're trying. Somebody's like forcing themselves to move on from this divine feminine because she's already moved on, but it's not working. I feel like they're having a rough time trying to let go of this divine feminine or this divine masculine. And then they got another situation going on over here where they could have somebody pregnant or something here. Or they could have had a baby by somebody recently. A girl that wants this. It's like she didn't got pregnant or had a baby by this person. Or she wants to or something here. And it's like she's trying to get this person to act right. Or do what she wants him to do. Or be in a relationship and shit. But it's just like it's not working. Yeah, it says notorious, big, biggie, small. So just somebody could be a rapper or entertainer out here. Um... Yeah, it says life after death, hypnotized. Yeah, but this is somebody who's not being honest with themselves. This man can't be trusted. He's not being authentic with somebody about how the fuck he feels. Like, real shit. I feel like he's really hurt about losing this divine feminine. Or he's hurt by losing you, Pisces. And it's like he's trying to move on, but it's like he's wearing sunglasses. He's not healing properly. He's not being honest. It's like he just fucking and he trying to live his he's trying to live his life and like stuff this pain down stuff down his heartbreak but you can't do that like real shit like that's the wrong thing to do like you're not gonna heal properly or get over somebody just be trying to act like you're not hurt or trying to pretend like you're over somebody before you really are you have to process that shit in order to release it but you can't just not acknowledge it and think it's going to go away. No. But this is somebody, I mean, they're a liar. Storyteller. Hypnotized. It's like they like to paint illusions. And they're notorious for this shit. Notorious big. Some of you, this could be a heavy set man, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, then we got Sade on the bottom of the deck. This is just divine feminine. So, some of you Pisces, maybe you dress like a tomboy. You're very natural, bare-faced. Um, you could like low ponytails. You could have arm and hand tattoos like mine. Yeah, some of you, some of you Pisces, you can sing, or whoever this divine feminine is can. Or something about her voice. She may have like a deeper voice. She is. She may be a rapper. I don't know. Yeah, it says found of youth. She looks young. Her skin is pretty. Pride. Some of you Pisces could be bisexual. Or maybe you were in the past. Maybe you did used to live a lesbian lifestyle at one point. No ordinary love. Your love is king. Sade. Contemporary. Yeah, I feel like you're just different. And so it's a divine feminine out here who lives in her authenticity. She's real natural. She's pretty. She could be like more on the tomboy side. She doesn't have to do too much. I feel like she attracts men and women. Like real shit. And I feel like somebody is in love with her, but she doesn't want to be with this person because they're notorious for lying and telling stories and all this type of shit. And whoever this person is, they're like struggling with addiction, spirit versus the flesh, struggling with, with trying to change and transform, struggling with not being a cheater anymore. And they're over here entertaining some bitch that they really, really don't like, but they really, really don't want to be alone either. This is a mess. Yeah, look at that. King of Cups Reverse. Yeah, so this would be a Scorpio man or a Pisces man doing this. King of Cups Reverse is somebody who's emotionally unavailable. That's what I was saying. It's like somebody, they're in a relationship with somebody, but they're not, their heart chakra is blocked. Their emotions are blocked. They're not really emotionally available for whoever this is that they're in a relationship with. They're just, they just need the healing, the emotional support. So they're letting somebody like love all over them and, and do all this shit for them and and dote on them and, and praise them and all this type of shit. And they're literally doing nothing. The King of Culture versus somebody who's emotionally unavailable. 
This could be somebody who's thirsty too. They trying to pretend like they're not, but they are. It's like they're not used to like really getting decent women. Or they're not really used to getting quality women. And I feel like they found a quality woman when they were dealing with this uh, divine feminine, but they fucked that up. King of Cups Reverse is emotionally unavailable. They could be abusing alcohol right now or they drink or they drug. This is somebody who could do lean, pop pills and all that type of shit. At least that's what I'm picking up intuitively. I don't know why I'm getting that, but yeah, somebody here is their heart broken. They're emotionally unavailable, but they're trying to pretend like everything is fine. It's like they're immature. They like to gaslight, love bomb, manipulate. Yeah, storyteller. Mm -mm. Let's see, policies. What's the message? swords so you be you could be ignoring this person um pisces that's why i said racing and avoiding somebody's avoiding this person i feel like somebody out here has healed or is protecting their peace from this person from their past with the four swords energy here this could be you getting more sleep resting taking a mental break getting more sleep yeah, shadow. Somebody needs to do their shadow work. I told you, somebody out here is not healing with the shadow in reverse. That's why somebody is like avoiding them or protecting their energy for swords or ignoring this person because it's just like, no. Like, you won't do the work. You steady sit up and lie. You steady sit up and cheat and manipulate and gaslight. Like, no. You're not going to come over here with that shit. Knowing you need to do the work, but you're not doing it. Shadow reverse. No, this is somebody who's stuck in fear and obsession and shit. So this man, whoever this divine feminine is, he he stalks her. Like real shit. Yeah, eight of cups. That's why somebody walked away. Or that's why you walked away, Pisces, with the eight of cups. You're just like, nah, this shit is not enough. It's not enough. You won't heal. You won't change. You won't do the work. This person may sleep a lot because they're like depressed. <laughs> yeah, it's like eight of cups. I feel like you put in a lot of time, energy, and effort with this person. But it's just like, it's it's not enough. Eight of Cups. It's like walking away from what no longer serves you. Packing up your shit. Literally. You see how he's putting those cups in, them ba in that bag? It's like packing up your shit. Getting ready to leave. You know so some of you, you may not have exactly left yet. Because usually in the traditional right away deck, in the Eight of Cups, the person is already walking off. Um, they're already walking, headed towards a new journey, leaving something behind with the moon there above their head. But with this Eight of Cups, he's still sitting there putting the cups in a bag. So for some of you, you can still be living with this person. You know, maybe you're hoping that this person will get it together or they'll do the work or they'll start to do the work, show you some sort of sign of like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just show me anything. Show me that you may change before I walk out of this door. Because I feel like somebody, they're leaving, but they haven't left yet. Or it's like they're aware that they have to walk away from this situation because they're being ignored. Somebody doesn't want to do the shadow work. It's just like, you can't do nothing with this person. Yeah, four cups. Mm -hmm. This is like discontent and boredom. So you're bored here. Um... Pisces or somebody is here. The Four of Cups is just boredom, melancholy, same shit, different day, day in, day out. And the Four of Cups can speak to like, like um, apathy. So this is like not even being excited about your love life or these potential offers that you're getting because it's like you want this Three of Cups. You want somebody out here to change or somebody wants you to change so that y'all can be together. 
You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't know. This shit may not be worth holding on to. Yeah, because the Four of Cups can speak to... Um, what am I trying to say here? The Four of Cups is like when you had your hopes up or you had your expectations high for somebody, but then you get into a relationship with them and realize like it's not really what you thought it was. So there's like a level of disappointment here, heartbreak, pain, because like after the Four of Cups is the, the Five of Cups. So we're working backwards here. You would You would get to the Five of Cups before you get to the Four of Cups. So I feel like y'all have already been through that, the heartbreak and the crying and the regret and all of that part. I feel like you're already over the crying and shit with that five of cups energy. Now you're at the four of cups where you're just like, you're so disappointed when it comes to love that you're not even excited about it with that. Like the four of cups is like apathy. It's like, I don't really care. I'm not interested in dating. I honestly just don't give a fuck. It'd be like people may be interested in you, but it's like you soft reject them or you entertain them when you feel like it and shit. It's all because you were disappointed by the person that you really, really wanted. Something that you really wanted didn't turn out as expected or didn't turn out how you thought it would. So it's like some of you are just acting like you're rejecting other offers because you didn't get the offer that you wanted. It's like you're just entertaining people until they realize that you're not on no serious shit and you just let people just go away on their own. You know what I'm saying? You know how you exchange numbers with somebody? You know what I'm saying? Then y'all get the text and this shit and then you realize like, damn, like this motherfucker ain't really asking me on no date. They're not really asking me questions or trying to really get to know me or... You know, they're not really, like, intrigued or, like, really... It doesn't seem like they're really interested in getting to know me, even though we got each other's numbers and shit. So, eventually, it's like, you just quit talking to motherfuckers or you just stop texting them, you know? Motherfuckers just... It's like, it just... It gets boring quick or something. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune reverse here. Somebody could be experiencing some type of karmic or they haven't learned this karmic lesson. The Wheel of Fortune reverse could be like somebody is like, this would be like bad luck. Somebody getting karma based on the decisions that they made, but they could be playing victim. Or they're like blaming others or this Wheel of Fortune reverse means that something has become challenging. You know what I'm saying? This is when life gets hard. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not learning some type of lesson. You're not doing the work, which is why somebody keeps receiving karma. But I don't know. Let's see. Somebody's like bored and uninterested. They're disappointed in love because they didn't get the person that they wanted. And so now it's just like they don't really care about nobody else or anything. It's like they're more focused on this three of cups, which three of cups can be a reconciliation. It's like they're more focused on trying to balance something out or work something out with somebody versus new offers that they're they're receiving. They're just feeling like like these new offers that you're getting, these new people who are like interested in you and wants to want to date you, they don't compare to this person that you really, really wanted. Like that's a four swords here. Somebody could be sick or not feeling well, or somebody throat hurt, throat hurts. That's the four swords here. Yeah, the devil reverse. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's that divine feminine, divine masculine energy with that four swords. They're literally protecting their peace, ignoring and avoiding whoever this person is that doesn't want to do the work. Shadow is in reverse. This is somebody who doesn't do the shadow work. They live in their shadow, so they're toxic. They're low vibrational. They're draining. Yeah, the devil is in reverse. For some of you, this could be a Capricorn. Yeah, it's like some divine feminine who cut this person off. The devil's in reverse. This person was just too toxic. 
so they couldn't fight off these addictions or whatever the fuck the shit is. Why is the devil in reverse? So the divine feminine or divine masculine the, it like doesn't want this person. So this person is like they're just going back to whoever will take them and they're still not doing the work or the healing. So how's the devil reverse? Yeah, this could have happened in the past. So this divine feminine, divine masculine already let this person go or cut them off. Yeah, look, told you, divine feminine. Boom, the empress popped right out. So this could be a Libra or a Taurus. It doesn't have to be. I mean, divine feminine could be any sign. So they could be you, Pisces. Like I said, you know your worth now with the Empress. And you've let go of this toxic ass person with the devil reversing the four swords. And you're protecting your energy. Because this person, they don't want to do the work. That's the Empress here. Or you can be this karmic feminine energy that's trying to trap some man that doesn't really want them. Right. You know where you belong. Why is the Empress here? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. If somebody feels betrayed by that, it's like they're trying to avoid rock bottom. That's why I said somebody here, they're not healing properly because they feel betrayed. They feel backstabbed. They're, they're hurt. They're playing victim and shit. But it's like they don't want to like, it's like they don't, it's like they're trying to keep themselves from going to that place. You know what I'm saying? They're trying, they don't want to hit rock bottom. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you might as well just let this ten of swords just, you might as well feel that pain completely so that you can rebirth yourself and really heal and transform. It's like somebody is like, it's like they already been done dirty, betrayed, hurt and all type of shit. But it's just like, you still, you see how they're still trying to hold themselves up on their hands and knees. It's like, no, you just need to like, just like, just feel all this pain, all this hurt in order for you to really process and release it. I feel like this person has been, they got a lot of trauma or a lot of situations to process because with the shadow in reverse and the ten of swords this is somebody who's been hurt and backstabbed a lot by different people but it's like they're trying to like heal in reverse it's like somebody's idea of healing is just ignoring all these swords in their back like trying to hold themselves up regardless how bad this shit hurt regardless of all this pain but that's like the opposite of how you really heal you don't act like you don't feel the shit or you don't act like it, it never happened and shit in, in order to heal. No, you have to acknowledge like that did happen to me. This person did hurt me. This person did do X, Y, Z and I'm fucked up about it. Like you have to admit that shit. You have to really be honest and transparent with yourself in order to really heal. It's like somebody is like, they, they are like... I feel like they're already at rock bottom. Their mental place is like not the greatest with the Ten of Swords, but they still just won't. It's like they're trying not to fall flat on their face or something here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? I feel like losing this Divine Feminine or losing you Pisces is like devastating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, four of pentacles. They're trying to hold on. They're trying to hold on to this divine feminist energy. They're trying to hold on to something that is just like has already like. 
it's like they're trying to hold on to something that has already brought them to their lowest point with the Ten of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody is like hoping. It's just like, damn, like somebody's like, just show me any type of sign that you want to work on this, that you want to do this work, that you you willing to work on yourself, anything before I completely just walk the fuck away. Because when I leave, I'm not coming back. The principles here. Yeah, justice. Yeah, somebody could be putting work into it. Somebody's putting energy and effort and time into a new situation. This could be a new contract. Some of you, um, some of you Pisces got into a new relationship with a Libra, and that's where you're putting your time and energy and effort towards. But this, or you could have got married with the Empress and a Justice. It could be like a new karmic contract. You got married to somebody after you walked away from this person. And now you're putting in the work elsewhere. And this person's still holding on to your energy. Reverse, or somebody's like holding on to you because they want to make something right. Justice with the Eight of Pentacles, they want to make something right and put the work in, but they're they're not ready. It's like somebody feels like they they're ready to be with a divine feminine, but they're not. They're the King of Pentacles reverse. Some of you, your baby daddy is a uh, or whoever the fuck this person is that you were dealing with. This King of Pentacles reverse, they could be an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. But I feel like they're greedy, they're selfish, they're nonchalant. The King of Pentacles versus somebody that don't give a fuck. That's why I say it's a bitch out here who's who's dealing with this person now. King of Pentacles reverse, and like she has to like force this person to do the most simplest shit. It's like come take a picture with me. Like this, like the King of Pentacles versus real nonchalant, real I don't give a fuck behavior. So it's just like yeah, bitch, I'm here, but I'm not really here. You know what I'm saying? Like. I really don't want to take no picture with you, but it's just like, you got to, he has to do what this bitch say, or he has to go along with it so that she doesn't get mad or she doesn't get triggered and shit. But they really don't care to do it with the King of Pentacles reverse. It's somebody who's selfish. Their money could be funny. Their money is fucked up. They're very disloyal with the King of Pentacles reverse, very selfish. They have a gambling problem or they're very materialistic. They're very 3D. King of Pentacles reverse and the, and the shadow reverse is somebody who's, who hasn't done the work. They're not doing the work. They're just waking up every day, same shit every day, not caring, all because they lost out on this divine feminine. It's like they, they don't, they're not... It's like they don't care about life anymore or something. I was the king of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, strength card. Yeah, you had to pull back your energy from this person because they did you dirty. Strength card reverse. Mm -hmm. You had to pull your energy back. All the way back. And I feel like whatever transpired between you and this person made you stronger with the strength card. It's like you gain resilience after dealing with this king of pentacles reverse. It's like now you know your worth with the empress. Karmic justice is coming in for you either through a new um, contract or a marriage or something here. It's like whoever is divine feminine, she's getting the relationship or the marriage or something here that she wants because she learned her lesson. She's strong now. After somebody really did her dirty or fucked her over and shit. Why is the strength card here? Oh, shit. 
Sun is strength for our ear. We got Libra, Leo energy out here, and Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Libra, because we got the Empress and the Justice. So that could be a Leo female, uh, not a Leo female. Could be, because I said that, but a Libra female, a Libra divine feminine out here. Yeah, how we're fine. Yeah, somebody's a narc. They're non-committal. They're disloyal. They've lost spiritual ranking or it's like something about their belief system. Maybe they don't believe in God or they lost their belief in the most high. Or they could want this non-conventional lifestyle. Definitely could be a tourist with the King of Pentacles reverse and a Hierophant. It's like, yeah, for some of you, you pulled your energy back from this Taurus and you got you got into a relationship with a Libra. Because you're just like, absolutely not. This Taurus is toxic as fuck with the King of Pentacles reverse and the Hierophant reverse. Or it's like you could have gotten into a relationship with a Libra or a Leo. Yeah, it's like you're blocking out or you have your boundaries up with. I've just seen the Seven of Wands. It's like you have your boundaries up with this Taurus or you have your guard up or you're saying no or you're rejecting this person. That's a horrifying here. Yeah, this Taurus by or whoever the fuck this King of Pentacles reverse is. They, I mean, you, they could just have different beliefs than you or something here. Maybe they don't want to get married or something here. And you're just like, yeah, this isn't going to work. Like Pisces, you're like, I want to get married. You don't. And that's fine. But I'm not. But some of you just could be a cancer. Cancer man on this bullshit. The chariot reverse. Yeah, somebody out here doesn't have a car. This Taurus or this Cancer, whoever this is, I feel like this person doesn't have a car. Yeah, Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, all their lies and shit and caught up with them. All this sneaky shit with the Seven of Swords, they've gotten caught. It's like they've been caught in their lies. They didn't got caught stealing, lying, cheating, being conniving. And somebody's like done with their ass. It's like, no. And the swords reverse. Or maybe they confess to it because the seven of swords reverse can also be a confession. That's a shadow card reverse. Yeah, nine of cups. Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're happy here, Pisces. You're satisfied. You're getting what you want. Um, I still feel like, I don't know, there's something about this past situation that still like pulls on your heartstrings or something. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, three of swords reverse. Mm -hmm. It's like you're over this pain, this heartbreak, this grief. It's like you're not heartbroken over this shit anymore. If somebody's not heartbroken over you. Why is the three of swords here? Reverse. This definitely could be your ex with the three of swords. Yeah, star card reverse. For some of you, your ex is an Aquarius. Yeah, this person has failed from grace. They won't heal. Their reputation is ruined or their name is slandered. Like I said, this could be somebody in the public eye with the star reverse. They could be well known or known for something or in the spotlight. But I mean, shit, when I get the star car reverse, that means somebody is like talented. But like their personal life out like outshines their talent. It's like people know this person 
more for their personal business and messy shit than they actually do for what they're talented at. So somebody's like reputation is like tainted or tarnished. It's like, yeah, you talented, but bitch, you're also messy. Like real shit. Star card reverse. This could be an Aquarius or this could be yo ass, but the um star card reverse, somebody's not healing properly. Shadow reverse and a star reverse. Somebody's not healing properly. They're feeling helpless. They're feeling hopeless. Uh, somebody who is like really playing victim. It's like they're playing victim real bad with the Ten of Swords. It's like the Ten of Swords is also like bitchiness. So this could be somebody who like acts like a bitch or they're mean. Like for no reason. This is like bitch. Star card reverse is also the need for somebody. They, they need to heal. They need to cleanse their energy too. Like real shit. How's the star reverse? It's like somebody could be in the music industry, the healthcare field, and they could be really good at what they do, but it's like your personal life outshines your talent because you're always involved in some messy shit. It's just like as a star reverse. Yeah, page of cups reverse. Yeah, somebody's like too immature. They're possessive, jealous, and controlling, and they act like a fucking toddler. Why is a page of cups reverse? Somebody's childish. It's like, bitch, you need to heal and grow the fuck up. Like, real shit. Yeah, king of cups reverse. And this could be it, the King of Cups reverse is Pisces energy. If this King of Cups reverse is a woman, this could be like a woman in her masculine energy. She's like hyper masculine and shit, aggressive. King of Cups reverse, emotionally manipulative and shit. How's the King of Cups reverse? But it could be a man, emotionally unavailable, crybaby, likes to play victim. Always lying, passive aggressive, um, just thirsty, clingy, annoying. There's two masculine energies out here. That's why I said somebody is they're not interested in the offers that they're getting. It's like King of Cups reverse, King of Pentacles reverse. Like who wants to be with people like that? It's like somebody who is like not interested with these offer that they offers that they're getting from these men. I just heard a horn outside. It's just like nah, I'm not interested in the King of Cups reverse. I'm not interested in this King of Pentacles reverse. It's just like damn. Period. It's like somebody is like they're not interested in these offers that they're getting. Or it could be a Cancer man out here that's like annoying. With the King of Cups reverse and the Chariot. It's just like somebody out here is not happy with the offers that they're getting. But it's like somebody does, it's like the person that they want, this divine feminine, divine masculine energy, it's like they can't have that person because they're too fucking immature. The page of cuts reverse. Somebody's childish and don't like that shit. Like somebody is like childish and this divine person, feminine or masculine, doesn't like that type of energy. It's like I'm not with all the games and shit. I'm not with that manipulation shit. All that crybaby victim playing shit. Like there's a zero tolerance for this shit. No. So that's why somebody's being rejected. seven of cups now somebody's like lost and confused or delusional or acting like they don't know what's going on and shit it's like what why is the seven of cups here like i said somebody could be doing a lot of drinking king of cups reverse and the seven of cups somebody's drinking a lot or they're getting high smoking a lot yeah a tower because there's a tower happening in their life something is blowing up definitely could be a scorpio it's like something is falling apart. This person has been doing the wrong shit, going the wrong way for a long time. So now the tower is coming in to um, break some shit down. 
Where is it? Here. Yeah, six of wands. While somebody else is getting victory and success, accolades, somebody else is like, could be a Leo with the strength in the six of wands. It's like somebody has a platform or a podcast or something like that. They're real popular. A lot of likes, streams, subscribes. Or this could be you if you're this divine feminine. You can have Leo in your chart, Pisces. Yeah, somebody's of the light. Period. The light card in the upright. Yeah, full card verse. Yeah, somebody feels stupid as fuck. Could be an Aries. Somebody feels stupid and they're psychologically stuck. Something like somebody doesn't know how to heal properly. So they just doing what they always do. Just trying to move on. But they're hurt as fuck with their ten of swords. They could feel like somebody hexed or cursed their love life. Or you feel like somebody hexed and cursed your love life, Pisces. The food core reverse. Yeah, the lovers reverse. Mm -hmm. It's like they're with somebody that I told you the lovers reverse. It's like in a relationship where they get cheated on or it's one sided. Somebody's like more in love than the other one is. You know, the lover's reverse is like the sex is good, but we don't get along in any other aspect of the relationship when it comes to finances, when it comes to boundaries, when it comes to respect and, and shit. Like, we don't get along in any other aspect. So it's like two people in a relationship still fucking, but like they both still seek attention outside of the relationship. So it's like, what's the point? Could be a Gemini? The lovers reverse, yeah. Somebody's like they're sticking with their wrong choice in love. It's like, what in the fuck? Oh, the lovers reverse. Yeah, magician. Virgo energy out here. Somebody could be a Libra, not a Libra. I don't know why I keep getting the um, signs mixed up because it's goddamn Mercury retrograde. But the magician and the strength card, somebody out here could be a um, Leo Virgo cusper. I feel like multiple people like leave this person or like disconnect from this person. I feel like people have tried to help this person or tried to help heal them, but it's just like, it's like people are giving up on whoever this is. It's just kind of like pointless because this person doesn't want to help themselves. Like, why is a magician here? Yeah, nine of wands and they're angry. They holding a bunch of resentment towards people and situations that hurt them with this Ten of Swords. But it's just like, you can't be mad. I mean, you can be mad at people because, yeah, people be doing some fucked up shit. But you have to take accountability for the role that you played in each of those situations. Then people were only able to do you dirty or play games or fuck you over and all that shit because you lack boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to learn when to say no. You know what I'm saying? And this is somebody who's always saying yes to people, always going out of their way. And then when they get done dirty, they feel some type of way with the nine of wands reverse. It's like people only do, <clears throat> look, now, now my voice going out. Somebody don't want me to say it. But it's just like people only do what you allow. If you allow somebody to cheat on you, if you allow somebody to run you over and, and push you around and bully you and attack you and all this type of shit and you just sit there well that's what the fuck is gonna happen like nobody's coming to save you you gotta save your fucking self like real shit 
So now somebody just wants to have an attitude and just act like a bitch and all this type of shit. Like, play victim and shit. Like, man. Why is the nine of wands reversed? They got PTSD from relationships and shit. From being done wrong so much. So now they don't trust nobody and all this weird ass shit. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Pentacles here? Like a hermit in a knot of cups. Yeah, somebody could be watching. Somebody's like watching their ex get a blessing. They're watching their ex get into this relationship. Watching to the watching their ex get engaged with the Ace of Pentacles, or they get this offer that they've always wanted. Somebody's like watching somebody get a solid offer, something that they've always wanted. They're watching somebody else get it. Somebody's like in denial. Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's like somebody has moved the fuck on. They're getting engaged. They're getting married, or they already did. And somebody is just here, like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apologize. Knight of Cups. I'm gonna make my offer. I'm gonna see if I can get the attention. Ace of Swords reverse because they're in denial. It's like they don't want to believe that somebody is truly gone. Yeah, the five of wands reverse. Something somebody doesn't want to believe that something is over here. It's like I can fix this, we can make this better. Knight of Cups. I feel like this could be this karmic energy trying to make amends with this person. No, we can fix this. Five of Wands reverse. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue no more. Knight of Cups. I'm gonna apologize, but I feel like this person's hiding from them. Hermit card, they're trying to hide from this karmic person that keeps trying to fix shit with them. Because they're in denial. They don't know how to take no for an answer. Or they don't understand rejection. This is somebody who can't read body language. It's like, bitch, everything about my mannerisms is telling you that I don't give a fuck or I don't want to be here or I'm not interested. And you're still just like Knight of Cups. Oh, I love you. And well, somebody's delusional out here. It's like this could be a Virgo hiding from somebody. <laughs> I'll say the cups here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I told you somebody's in a one sided relationship. King of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse. It's only for money and finances. I mean, they both cheat on each other and shit. How's the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, I feel like two gold diggers got together. While the divine feminine, she separated herself. I feel like I feel like this. I feel like it's a gold digging ass man and a gold digging ass bitch. They both got left, and now they're stuck with each other. But they hate it there. Yeah, page of wands. It's like she keeps trying to reach out to somebody or get somebody's attention. Pisces, this is a weird, weird reading. Like, it's a lot of scenarios going on in this shit. So, I don't know if you're still married to this person. If you're this person hiding from somebody, it's just like... If you're in this dysfunctional-ass relationship, like, I don't know. Because this could be a married couple with the King of Pentacles reverse and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Or they've been together for a very long time. But it's like low vibrational and toxic. Like, I don't know. Power front reverse. Somebody could be married, but it's like somebody wasn't ready to get married. So now it's just like they're stuck in it and don't care. Or why is a page of wands reverse? Or this queen of pentacles reverse. Whoever the wife is, she's like trying to reach out to somebody. Page of wands. Yeah, in secret. Moon card with the page of wands. She and somebody DMs or she's secretly texting back and forth with somebody. Because they may still live together. With the um, King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. It's like two people in a relationship that are doing their own thing. 
Because, like, nobody wants to be bothered with them. And I feel like this masculine energy is really, he's, like, really tripping off of this divine feminine. Yeah, because I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, whoever this person's wife is, she's, like, DMing and texting people and sending naked pictures and shit to motherfuckers. She doing this shit at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to hide it. The moon with the page of wands and the queen of pentacles reverse. She's a gold digger. She like men with money and shit, but she don't really... I feel like they don't even like each other. This queen of pentacles reverse and the king of pentacles reverse. They don't even really like each other. They're both like bored and tired of each other. It's like this shit is annoying. Like you're not going to change or I'm not going to change. So it's just like, all right. But they're just like living together, staying together, like... And this bitch is like DMing and flirting and sexting and doing all type of shit at nighttime. I mean, this King of Pentacles, bro, he don't give a fuck anyway. It's like, bitch, do you? That's a moon card. And that's all I'm saying. Like, that's that's some lame shit. Queen of Pentacles reverse with the Page of Wands upright and the moon card reverse. It's like these two motherfuckers are very 3D. They're very low vibrational, very worldly. They're not tapped in at all. So it's like, bitch, you're with a man that you don't want to be with, still living together, trying to, you're just waiting around to try to see if this man is going to change. But in the meantime, in between time, page wines, you texting motherfuckers and beating motherfuckers that you don't even like for a cup, sending, because you just want some attention. Like, real shit. Like, that got to be the most pathetic loser shit I've ever read in a reading. Like, a bitch won't leave a nigga alone. They don't like each other. They both cheating and seeking attention outside of the relationship with the lovers reverse. So, like, bitch, you just sitting in the same house or the same apartment with a motherfucker and still texting, DMing motherfuckers at life. Like, of course, bitch, ain't nobody going to take your ass serious because it's just like... Bitch, how am I going to take you serious and you still live with somebody? Live with a man and shit. Like, what the fuck? I feel like this woman, she's just looking for attention because she's not really meeting nobody that she's interested in. And this masculine energy, this King of Pentacles reverse, he's focused and watching on a divine feminine that he doesn't have a chance with anymore. So it's like they both on some weird shit. I don't know what the fuck this is. Ace of Cups reverse. It's like somebody, they're not in love at all. They're not in love at all. Ace of Cups reverse. They don't have the same feelings for this person. Or this situation or this marriage or this relationship anymore. But it's like they're still in it though. Yeah, not of Wands reverse. Yeah, because somebody's a cheater. They're a community dick. But it's just like, okay, well, bitch, if you are if you feel that way about this person, why are you still there? It's like this is somebody who feels hopeless and helpless. Like there's not another chance for love. And shit, it won't be if your ass keep wasting time in this relationship. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's taking major financial losses or they don't want to move out of this house because it'll be a lot of debt that has to be divvied up between the both of them and shit. So it's just like they're trying to, it's like they're still living together. They're still legally married or they just been together for a long ass time, like a common law marriage. And they're just, motherfuckers just doing what they want. It's like they're trying to look for some, look for other people to help them. But it's just like, you got to help yourself. Nobody is coming to save you from this shit. You have to do the work. You have to stand the fuck up, decide to walk away. And I mean, hurry the fuck up. Stop sitting around packing one shoe at a time and shit, hoping that somebody going to get their act together so you really don't have to leave. So you really don't have to go on this journey and do the work. It's the fuck you do. Like real shit. Somebody out here is just like... Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Sun card. Yeah, something here has been exposed with the ten, of, the Sun card here, and somebody's not really happily married. It was based on finances with the ten of the Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Queen and the King of Pentacles reverse. That that was a relationship just completely built on money. So I don't know if this was like an arranged marriage or some shit.
Sun card. Yeah, and the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody feels trapped. They feel stuck with the Eight of Swords. They don't know how to get out of this shit, how to fix this. It's like somebody doesn't know what to do. They don't know how to get a divorce. They don't know how to, like... They just don't know what to do about this situation at all. Should I move? Should I leave? Should I divorce? Should I find somebody else? Should I stay here? Should I work on this? Should I, it's like somebody's like all over the fucking place. I want some four cups here. Yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, somebody's being rejected. They're like, no, I'm not interested. I feel like this person keeps getting rejected because it's like when they find out this man and this woman, they both keep getting rejected by other people. Because it's just like when you find out what this person is involved in, like what? You still legally married? Like what? You still live with somebody? Like, bitch, I can't take you serious. I don't want nothing to do with you. Like somebody's rejecting somebody. Four of cups and seven of wands. No, I'm not interested. Or this could be you rejecting somebody because they're in a relationship or a marriage or some shit. It's like, no. Yeah, temperance. And somebody's pissed out here. The temperance reverse. I feel like this is this masculine energy who keeps trying to reach out to this divine feminine. He's stalking and watching her, but he's keep getting rejected. She does oh he did get rejected. He tried to reach out or apologize to her before and it was a no. Seven of Wands and a Four of Cups. And now he's mad and drunken and getting into it with this bitch that he lived with at the house. It like it's like somebody's mad because the woman that they want rejected they ass and they're stuck with the woman that they don't want. Yeah, too, because they still love somebody. They feel like somebody's their soulmate. Yeah, two of wands. This is doubt, fear. Fear of making a decision to move on a new path. Somebody chose to stay comfortable. They chose to stay in this marriage with this bitch that they fucking hated there. All because they were too scared or they were too insecure. They had too much self-doubt. To take a leap of faith with this divine feminine. And they missed out. Four of Cups is a missed opportunity. But I feel like they both missed out. This Queen of Pentacles reverse. And this King of Pentacles reverse. They're both too codependent on each other. They're scared about money and security. So they just stay the fuck together. And they do their own thing. But it's like people don't take their ass serious. Like nobody wants you. And you're still connected to some shit. That should have been ended a long time ago. We have four of wands here. Yeah, five of cups reverse. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, somebody doesn't give a fuck. They're leaving somebody out in the cold. They're just like good riddance. Five of pentacles, nine of swords reverse. I'm not losing any sleep. I don't give a fuck. Just stay over there with that bitch in that raggedy ass relationship that you want to be in. Yeah, King of Wands reverse because you're a cheater. You're a liar. You need too much attention and validation. Like, your ego is out of control. Yeah, Six of Cups reverse. I told you, your ex or somebody's ex. Somebody's this Sagittarius ex. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, the High Priest is reversing the Knight of Swords. So, I don't know. Like Pisces, look, this is your card with an uh high priestess reverse and a trigger card. Somebody could be having loud out outbursts or going off on somebody verbally, attacking somebody, cussing somebody the fuck out. That's this bitch who's not getting attention from this person anymore, just exploding, having outbursts. This is a lot of unwanted attention with the high priestess reverse. Ooh, we I'm gonna go. Pisces, this is this this is too this thing got on my nerves. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit, and I will holler at you later. Peace.